So anterior segment uh, imaging is probably one of the most powerful things in our practice for many reasons. First of all, patient education, uh, it, it's just a game changer to be able to show someone that they have giant papillary conjunctivitis, take a photograph, demonstrate it to them. Um, it's also helpful for education in conditions like um, uh, corneal neovascularization and contact lens overwear, uh, um, meibomian gland dysfunction, uh, dry eye, lysamine green staining, uh, for example, in dry eye workups, if I can show different areas of disruption on the ocular surface and then begin a therapy, bring them back in four to six weeks and re-image them and show them the improvement, that really helps with uh, not only the adherence to the therapy, but uh, to the legitimacy of what we're doing from a medical standpoint, which is really important. Continuity of care is very important. We have multiple doctors in our practice and we, we have multiple locations, so we don't have a, a single doctor in a location every day. So, for example, if you see someone with a corneal ulcer and you're trying to determine if it's fungal or uh, acanth amoeba or what it is, uh, you want to take a photograph, show the staining, educate the patient, of course, but also the next doctor coming in behind me can pull up the photograph and see if the condition's improving or worsening. And to be able to draw a picture is one thing, to make some notations in the charts another, but a picture's worth a thousand words, and that's really what... Um, what we find in terms of utility and imaging.